On England's south coast, Weymouth is a popular tourist destination, famous for its sandy beach and beautiful Jurassic coastline. If you take a closer look, you'll find some fantastic heritage attractions, some of which play a significant role in telling the story of Britain's history. Like here, at Jordan Hill. So if you've ever walked the stretch of the coastline overlooking Weymouth Bay, have you actually noticed that this is here? We believe that this was an area of significance, of rich and importance, and it dates back to the late 4th century AD. This would have been a two-storey shrine which contained an effigy of a god or goddess, now long forgotten. But of course, if you want to find out more about Weymouth's heritage, a good place to start is the town's museum, which can be found at the site of the old Devonish brewery, Brewer's Quay. Visitors enjoy the Civil War story and especially of the rivalry between Weymouth and Malcolm Regis. I love history. Coming here, you see that Weymouth was principally a huge part of Britain's defence system. A lot of people don't realise that the Black Death started here in Weymouth. In the 17th century, what we now know as Weymouth was originally two small towns, Weymouth and Malcolm Regis. The port played a significant part in the First English Civil War where the Battle of Weymouth took place. Buildings that were here then, like the old town hall, are still here today and help tell part of that story. It's based on uh, three Tudor houses. It was rebuilt in 1744 and then in 1896 it was rebuilt again and they brought in a lot of Weymouth pine and this was either from Weymouth, Oregon, or just so much pine came into Weymouth that it was known as Weymouth Pine. We've come inside and this is the upper hall, which is basically the 1896 version. They would gather stone from anywhere, and you've got some lovely ashlars here, which are the dressed stone. Um, this particular ashlar has the mark of a cannonball on it. It's a beautiful sunny day here on the Dorset coast, and what better place to visit than Sandsford Castle, which along with Portland Castle, was built as part of the King's defence programme against foreign invasion. Completed in 1541, it cost just £3,887 to build, with reused materials from Bindon Abbey. Although it is presently closed for structural reinforcement, we encourage you to still come and visit to enjoy the views and gardens. Just along the harbour from the old town hall and around the corner from Weymouth Museum is Tudor House. Weymouth um, has a long Georgian history about which people know a lot, but fewer people around know much about the Tudors. There's been an ongoing debate for years over whether it was originally built as one house or as two, as it was at the end of the 19th century. I'm actually finding more and more evidence is actually just part of a much larger building. We have a, a Tudor rope bed. It's where the saying, good night, sleep tight, comes from, because you wouldn't have a good night's sleep unless you were sleeping on tight ropes. To further protect Weymouth and Portland harbours, the Noth Fort was built in 1872. Now a museum, this attraction is alive with themed events, exhibitions and activities for the whole family. My main feeling about No Fort is that it's an absolutely brilliant heritage site, but it's been interpreted in a way that's accessible to everyone. Because we know full well that people who come here, they, they go to the beach and then they want to be entertained. So this is historic entertainment. And that's how we present it. I think the way that particularly Weymouth have gone about making their history available and also so digestible and interesting for children is marvellous. I think the community aspect of history and heritage is looking at where we've all come from. It's our story. You'll always find something you connect to. Everything you're interested in life has a history. In Weymouth, we've got a whole range of history, the whole work. So we've got layers and layers and layers and layers of history all in one place. And some of it's quite well preserved as well. Without history, where do you go forwards? And where do you learn from? 